Hi, I'm Scotty. Welcome to Scotty's Clock World. We've brought the ultrasonic up to temperature, 30 degrees centigrade. So we'll put the plates in first because they're larger. The back plate. And the front plate. Turn that one up. Too big, we'll have to do them one at a time. Not a problem, we'll take that out. Pop it on there. Turn this on for five minutes. Let it run. We'll come back after five minutes, take the back plate out and we'll put the front plate in and do that one. All right, the back plate is finished. We'll take that out, the ultrasonic. We'll swap it over for the front plate. A bit shinier. Put in our container. Drop that in. It'll fully submerse now. Put it on for five minutes. And then we'll come back. Right, the back plate's finished. We'll take that out. Put it in the tray with the front plate. Drip it off a bit. Now we'll put the other wheels in. We've already tied them up so we know which is which. So we'll pop them in. Right. Going side. Escape wheel. Motion works. We'll put them in the middle. In the wind wheel. The going side spring. Put them on. Give them five minutes. We'll come back. We'll take them out. Then we'll go through the next stage, which is washing them. Okay, time's up. We'll take the other parts out. Then we'll go and clean them. Slide that underneath so we don't spill it on the carpet. Now we'll go to the kitchen to do the next stage. Right, we've brought the parts out. Now, first step is we're going to wash the ultrasonic cleaner fluid off in some warm water to fill the dish and start putting the parts into there. Put the front and the back plate in first. Move them up and down a bit. To clean them. Fill a dish with shellite, also known as lighter fluid. Fill that up. Put our drying cloth in front. Now take the back plate out, shake it. Into our shellite, move it round a bit. The shellite will remove the water or the vast majority of it. 
and we'll dry it off with a hot dry air gun. Front plate do the same. Into the shellite. Drain it off. That's about there. Now we'll dry both those off with a hot air gun on low. That'll get rid of the last drops of water on the plate. You see the plates come up nice and shiny. Now, now the front plate, dry it off. Lovely shiny wheel there, count wheel. Turn it over, reverse it. That's looking pretty good. Bring our tub back again. Empty it. Fill it with some warm water. We put our other parts in it. There for a moment. Come over there. Now we'll put them into the shell light. One set at a time. Haven't they come up nice and shiny and clean? Done an excellent job. Motion works. Flight. Last of all, the escape wheel. Now I'll remove the plates that are nice and dry, clean, put them aside so that we can put the wheels out on our drying cloth. Throw them up, going side wheels, strike side wheels, motion works in the center, fly, and the escape wheel. Now we'll dry them on low with a heat gun. Both sides. Another two strike side wheels. That's a hammer strike wheel.
Floyd. Motion works. Escape wheel. They all look pretty good now, so put them in the container, take them back to the bench, and we'll start to put them together.